She sells seashells by the seashore, but not everyone should buy what she sells. For those with a shellfish allergy, any of these crustaceans and mollusks can be very dangerous. Like other food allergens, shellfish can cause mild to severe life-threatening allergic reactions. Symptoms of a reaction can occur a few minutes to a few hours after eating a shellfish product. Common symptoms of a mild shellfish allergy include hives and swelling, digestive problems, and tingling in the mouth. For symptoms like these, you may only need to take an antihistamine. But remember, an antihistamine cannot control a severe reaction and is no substitute for epinephrine. Some people may have a more severe reaction called anaphylaxis, which can include problems breathing and swallowing, vomiting and diarrhea, coughing, swelling, and loss of consciousness. To treat anaphylaxis, administer a shot of epinephrine immediately, and then call 911. There are two groups of shellfish, crustaceans like shrimp, crab, lobster, and crawfish with lots of legs, and mollusks, which can have one shell like snails and abalone, two shells like clam, mussels, oysters, and scallops, or no shell at all like the octopus. Crustaceans cause most shellfish reactions. Sorry, shrimp. To prevent a reaction, avoid shellfish and shellfish products altogether. Federal law requires food makers to list crustacean shellfish on their packaging, so be sure to check the label for potential crustacean ingredients. The law doesn't require that mollusk ingredients be labeled in plain language, so mollusk allergies can be even harder to manage. Regardless of the shellfish you're avoiding, ask questions about food that wasn't prepared yourself and check out FAIR's website for a broader list of potential shellfish sources. But here's the good news. An allergy to shellfish does not mean an allergy to all fish. Shellfish and finned fish are not closely related, and being allergic to one does not always mean you must avoid both. Just be careful of cross-contact, which commonly happens in restaurants where both finned fish and shellfish are served. If you think you or your child has an allergy, be sure to consult your doctor or qualified healthcare provider for appropriate testing and accurate diagnosis. If you're diagnosed with a food allergy, read your labels carefully and always be sure to keep at least two epinephrine devices with you at all times in case of severe reaction. Finally, No Fair is always here for you as a resource at foodallergy.org. And be sure to sign up for FAIR Alerts to stay up to date on the latest food allergy news, reports, recipes, and more.